Ah, short introduction video, so uh, video will proceed shortly. And I said something about mixing videos together and all this other crap, but I said, no, it's a good enough video on its own, so I'm not going to bother with that. So just explaining. Yeah, it's a good video. So good video starting somewhere around now-ish. Sort of. Any minute, any second now. All of a sudden it'll just start. Like this will stop and it will begin. It will begin. It. it. Ah, making a video. Yes, probably a combination video. I think I'll make this video twice and then combine the two parts. But anyway, capitalism video. Truth video. Simple. Just keep it simple, stupid. Okay. Yes, yeah, so here we are, communicating with each other. Two, two brains. Um, we have a life experience. We've learned basic up-down kind of concepts. Um, you know, we we kind of know that some things are have legitimacy, some things have illegitimacy, real, unreal, and we can have a conversation about what it is to be on planet Earth and uh, what it is to be human. Uh, what's it mean? Uh, what's the function? What should we be? What should be coming out of my mouth in terms of words? Should I just be saying things to make you feel better, or should or should we talk about uh, how to uh, maximize somehow a performance? That somehow there is a performance to us. We we're actors. Now we can entertain each other. <laughs> we can educate each other. We can do lots of different kinds of things. And what's the thing should we be doing? I would argue that we are in the middle of crisis. We're at a huge tipping point, and that it's uh, time to, uh, you know, on this bus that we're riding on together, it's time to have a serious conversation about the fact that nobody's driving and we're heading for a brick wall or a cliff or whatever you want to describe the doom as. But we're heading right for it. And so we probably shouldn't be entertaining each other. We should be having a conversation about. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> yeah, how do, how do we get uh, somebody in the driver's seat? How do we get this thing on a road somewhere? How do we, how do we fix this problem we're on? We're in. We're riding. We're pushing, even. We're helping pedal. We're part of the momentum, anyway. We're part of the mass of the bus. And that mass is accelerating towards the doom. Uh, what should we do? Um, so anyway, so my part of the do part is, is I've concluded the thing to do is to panic, have a conversation about the fact that there's nobody driving the bus, and we've really got to do something now, right now, immediately. <laughs> so the do is based on this fact that, yeah, the first thing you do is let's reduce the mass of the bus so we can actually stop it. We can't keep making the bus heavier. We've got to make the bus lighter. So we've got to stop doing this procreating thing, blah, 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 blah. For certain, for just this this minimalistic purpose of having some hope, uh, it doesn't solve the problem, but at least it uh, it's the road to solution. But the bigger picture is we've got to realize the bus doesn't have a road. There is nowhere to go. We better just park it. Okay, it's done. It's cooked. It's finished. And if you look at the facts, that's what we got. Okay, so let's just look at the facts, right? We got this theory of evolution, right? Well, we know it's not a theory anymore. It's a fact. The fact is, we evolved. Uh, we are your direct ancestors in your lineage. Not only were salamanders and other kinds of gross, disgusting, little crawly things. Uh, I can drag you all the back, all the way back to a fish, you know, shitting in its own drinking water. Um, you know, you go way back, and you go all the way back to little blobs of cellular matter with uh, DNA molecule replicating, and that's what the whole thing is. It's a DNA molecule replicating, not for any special purpose, not because a god pushed it, not because of any good reason, just like a trial, like a stalagmite or a stalactite. It's just chemistry. It's just a manifestation of chemistry. So yeah, we're like stalagmite squared. Yes, we're mobile, mobile, and we're conscious and sentient. And we can clearly see 
that our consciousness, our sentience, our feeling capacity is totally tied to these biological necessities. This idea that you gotta feed the cells so then the cells can replicate. Uh, and then, you know, because we evolved in a niche environment, um, we needed to be team players to survive. And so we've gained all kinds of social psychology, ego, uh, playing the alpha game, competitiveness, all mechanisms built into us to ensure uh, genetic strength, to ensure that the next generation is better than the previous generation at manipulating the environment, at controlling the environment, um, playing the environment. And so yes, we've been conformed to be surviving machines and uh, nothing else. Um, and now we have something else though. Now one of the tools we were given, the scheming device, has now enables us to do more than just self-serving scheming. It enables us to put rocks on the ground, build a foundation, build ourselves a pedestal, and now we can look at the game. We can use our telescopes and our microscopes to analyze and dissect the world we exist in. And we can see how the game is played in the biggest of pictures and realize that we're just exchanging this thing we call sentient comfort. This thing we understand to be feeling good versus feeling bad. And we exchange this in this in this interaction we have with each other and the, the environment where uh, we'll endure work and uh, unpleasantness to purchase ourselves uh, these tokens for to purchase our pleasure with and these this is the exchanging game we're playing and now we're playing it with a very you know calculated monetized system you know where we have currencies and other representations of this value um, but that's all we're doing. Uh, we're exchanging value for value. Uh, negative value for positive value. Uh, um, risk and work for leisure and fun. Uh, it's the general practice. And yes, because of the systems we've created, there's people exploiting that. And yes, they're doing all the, all the buying and none of the producing. But uh, that's the general game. And it's a game we, are, we play from a personal point of view, obviously, because we contain this sentience. This feeling happens to us individually. It manifests inside of us. And it uh, screams for intention. It, tells our, it says to our intelligence, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. Um, but our intelligence can know, uh, it can understand anyway it can model uh, a perception where it can put that in perspective and say my my pleas for comfort are no better than anything else uh, pleading for comfort and uh, that whatever behavior I decide to manifest it should have that fact as uh, you know is incorporated into um, the construction of the strategy. The strategy must take it into account now. That's uh, one of these consequences of being able to acquire intelligence is you acquire responsibility that comes with knowledge. Uh, just as I can explain to you, metaphorically at least, uh, that you are um, heading down a dead end, that you're going too fast, uh, and that you won't stay on the tracks, that you <laughs> won't have a good future. Your children will suffer uh, for your recklessness, uh, for your lack of care, for your lack of consideration. Um, and that's just the truth. The future will pay a high price uh, for what you're not paying attention to now because you just won't accept the simple truth that you can't do what you want personally you can't have what you want personally, that you've got to act, you've got to behave with knowledge of the consequences. If you're on a board, and what's happening on the entire board is the game, and there's lots of stuff at stake, 
not just your welfare. There's lots of welfares. Billions, trillions, trillions of mammals anyway. Something like that anyway. Big number of uh, sensitive, emoting, uh, feeling minds whose welfare is in your hands. It's up to you. Uh, it's on you. <laughs> it's, you know, because you can know it. I'm telling you, so obviously you can know it because you're listening to this video. You've heard me say it. What are you going to use to deny the truth? What, what, uh, what nonsense are you going to pull out of your pocket to try to rationalize your excuse for ignoring the truth? The truth that there's a tremendous amount at stake. What? <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, you can't. There's no, there's no rational way to evade this reality. Uh, there's nothing. There's, there, there's no, you have no choice but to accept it logically. It's sitting there right in front of you. It's quite obvious. Uh, these are statistical facts. They're, they're beyond uh, corruption by any of your motivations. Uh, you know, this is the price that will be paid. Horrible suffering will be endured. And it will happen because you are doing nothing to stop it. Because you can't say the words, yes, let's stop it. <laughs> you can't do that much. Hey, let's start talking about reality instead of talking about bullshit. You can't do that. That's asking too much. <sighs> Come on. You just don't want to face the burden. <sighs> And yeah, you know, no one's asking you to succeed. No one's asking you to to uh, do everything just right. But this is a minimum. Is that really too much to ask? Oh yeah, let's quit pretending. Let's quit the nonsense. Let's recognize that the price is way too fucking high and that we have to do something about it. I mean, that statement is asking too much. It's too much for you to acknowledge a little bit of the truth. We're sitting on top of four billion years. Well, let's say 500 million anyway. Where sensitive creatures uh, tormented and tortured each other for a thing called survival. To replicate for the sake of replication. Not for any big grand purpose. Just because they were forced into the arena like Christians and lions. Neither one wanted to play, they had to play. And yes, for 500 million years, sentient creatures have been forced to play a stupid game. A stupid game of I win, you lose. <laughs> and uh, for nothing. Because the winners lose too. There's no immunity, there's no paradise, there's no eternal bliss. There's just, you get ground up, and remade into another gladiator. You just turned into another machine to get eaten up in the fight to create nothing but toolkits. You're just sitting there saying, let's just keep making more, longer teeth, bigger claws, you know, more insidious viruses, uh, more boorish parasites, uh, you know, for what? For absolutely nothing, for for the purpose of uh, tormenting, abusing, um, <laughs> manifesting horror, to manifest horror in the universe. For that purpose, now we have manifested horror in the universe. That's not an accomplishment. That's a failure, and the failure was because nobody could dissent. No one could say no more. No one could stop it. For 500 million years, no one had enough vocabulary to say, no, I don't want to do that. And we can now. So say it. <laughs> you know, what's the big deal? Just say it. No. It stops now. It stops here. This is enough already. Uh, quit being Borg. Grow up. Uh, realize the game stinks. Realize there's no winning 
this game. Realize that you are being manipulated by a chemical process. You are being completely and totally puppet mastered. You are being manipulated, perverted, distorted. You are being abused and used uh, to further nothing, to accomplish nothing, to force a bus off the cliff, <laughs> likely to be rebuilt again, to be forced off the cliff, and then rebuilt again, to be forced off the cliff. <sighs> Just say no. Say no. No more. Stop it. <sighs> This doesn't have to be this way. We have the power. And the power is in saying no. <laughs> it's not that complicated. It really isn't. Just say no. There. Problem solved. You've done your job. <laughs> Somebody says some sort of bullshit about purpose and accomplishment and the need to continue. You just have to say no. <laughs> no, sorry, that's not intelligent, that's not smart, it's not wise, it's Borg, DNA Borg, reject the Borg, reject the ownership, uh, glorify, if you're, going to, if you're going to glorify something, glorify your intelligence, glorify the fact that we can now know, we can now understand. We can now not be retarded poo eaters. We can grow up, regain our dignity, uh, again our dignity. We can't regain it because we never had any. We were the, the crap crawling in the muck, conniving and scheming. That's all we've ever been, is con conniving.